It looks like dyed water in a pond, but we're actually in a research institute where microalgae is grown. Scientists here think these microalgae could start a revolution in the food and cosmetic sectors. But how possible is that? Four particular microalgae species are being looked at here. They are able to produce omega-3, a fatty acid used as a dietary supplement, and an antioxidant which has uses in the cosmetic industry. But before anything, the microalgae needs to be taken good care of. At the end of the day, microalgae are mini plants, so to grow they need a constant source of light, either natural or artificial. Temperature is also very important for them. We use this greenhouse to create stable temperature conditions, ideally between 15 and 20 degrees Celsius. And the third crucial parameter is the agitation. Microalgae needs to be in constant movement so light reaches the whole organism. This is what makes the metabolic process more efficient. Scientists contributing to this European research project use a complex method to extract both the omega-3 and the antioxidants. CO2 is used to break through the membranes protecting the compounds inside the tiny algae. Scientists say that no chemical solvents are used. We inject carbon dioxide into the microalgae at a very high temperature. Pressure can reach up to 300 or 400 bars. We obtain a solution that contains both the gas and the microalgae oils. We then release the solution back to normal atmospheric pressure. CO2 is released into the air or recycled for further processes. Being heavier, microalgae oils stay at the bottom of the container and we can recover them. Fish has so far been the main source of omega-3, but its extraction has been considered inefficient and unsustainable, as most fish species are fully exploited or over-exploited. Scientists here are convinced that microalgae are a more viable alternative. Omega-3 concentration in microalgae is much higher than in fish. It's crucial to understand that the omega-3 from microalgae is much more natural. Fish do not naturally produce omega-3. It basically accumulates it by feeding on microalgae. So through this process, we are just going straight to the primary source of omega-3. The company has already marketed both dietary supplements and cosmetic products based on omega-3, but also antioxidants extracted from microalgae. The researchers want to make production more competitive in an ever-changing market. The technology is currently expensive, so the resulting products are costlier than others on the market. But prices should moderate when we start scaling up the technology. Also, we hope European legislation will evolve, and it will make it more difficult to extract these products using chemical solvents. At that moment, our more sustainable technology will become more widespread, and prices of the products will decrease. Scientists here estimate the global demand of omega-3 to total around 260,000 tons per year, a market seemingly ready to be conquered by these microalgae.